Hello everyone. In this video, let's learn about what is blue-green deployment. So before understanding what is blue-green deployment, let's understand what are the couple of issues we face in the production environment. The first problem, when you go to the release into the production, first problem is the downtime. It takes more time to uh, start, stop all the services, deploy the new code, start all the services. It takes some of the downtime. And the next thing is, if it has any, if that release is buggy, it means you wanted to roll back the things. Again, it takes more downtime. So like this, there are n number of deployment issues for us. To resolve those things, we have blue-green deployment strategy. So in this strategy, what happens is, so let me show you another slide. So this is the slide. So the user, so router is like an way is going to communicate with this blue environment. Blue environment means it's a live production environment where the users will be seeing version one, okay? And blue is like live. Here the users will be communicating with this environment through this router, okay? And all the services applications will be here and it would be accessing the database services here. Shared resources will be here, right? So now if you're coming up with a new release, you have the version two release. Okay. Now we will name this as a green. This blue is live and green. Now what happens is we'll directly will not do this. What we'll do is like we'll deploy all our new code in this green environment. Ideally, blue, blue and green are like two separate environments, but which are identical in everything. Like so, here also all the services will stop and will start them. We'll deploy the new code but we'll not directly give this to the end users. Before giving this to the end users, we will test it, whether this release is buggy or not, whether any bugs are there or not. And, and we'll test some of the other scenarios where the issues will not be found in other environments and may be occurring in the production environment. So, but this will be pointed to the real shared sources, like what is the database the prod is using, what all the major services, shared services this prod is using, the same things it would be pointed. Other than the services and the application core code, code base, everything looks same. And now the testing people will be testing a lot of stuff in this green environment. If once they are confident enough that this release is good, then what they do is like, then they just switch this router. So let me show here. See, they have just switched the router from here to here. So now the users will have a very less downtime and we will be having, these are some of the benefits. Now what happened earlier, it is connected to this. Now what we have done is like, just we are switching the incoming connection. So instead of the blue, now we are switching that to the green. User will not know what happened at the back end. He will be just accessing the application however he's have, uh, accessing earlier. Only thing is like we are switching this router from the blue to the green. Now in this green environment, we have the latest version of V2 code. So this is about the blue green deployment. And what are the benefits? So with this, what happens is like we have reduced the downtime and it is very quick to roll back the buggy release. So if the release is bug, bug, it has a number of bugs. So you can easily roll back. And if it has really, again, if after connecting, switching to this version two, if you feel this is not the right version or you don't want to give the version or uh, the new feature now. So again, you can switch back to the blue. So you have a rollback option. And now you have a more confident because you have a number of test cases you have built on this environment. Okay, so you can have more confidence that this is a good release. So these are some of the benefits. And after some time, what happens? Uh, you can release all this. You can crash this environment, blue environment. Once the green environment is stable and everything looks good, you can destroy this blue environment. Or else you can keep this blue environment for the disaster recovery methods as well. Okay, And after... After everything happens, what happens is like this green environment becomes a blue environment. Now, for the further releases, this green environment becomes a blue environment. And if the V3 comes, the version 3 comes, that becomes a green environment. So this is how the blue green deployment and the environment looks. Hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.